So I bought this Nereus 1080p uh, wireless transmitter so I could transmit approximately 15 feet through a floor. Uh, I found that it hasn't been working for that. Um, the signal keeps dropping and it just it's really not very good. It keeps almost resetting itself. So just to see what's going on, I thought I would connect both the receiver, which is this unit, this HDMI cable goes to my TV, to a Blu-ray player in the same room, direct line of sight, maybe eight feet away. Um, this here is a sender unit, and this is my Blu-ray player, which is currently turned on. So I'm just gonna set the camera up so we can see the TV, and then I'm going to uh, turn the whole system on. So oh, I'm just pressing the power button now. And you can see the units are connecting now. It's taking a while to connect. It doesn't usually take this long. So now it looks like the receiver is almost turned off. I'm just going to press the power button again. This normally isn't an issue. So it's now off. I'm going to turn it on again. And so now again we're trying to connect. And keep in mind the power button I'm pressing is on the receiver. I figure that's the one that you're likely going to have access to if you're trying to use this, because that's the one that will be connected to your TV. So it's just, it's not connecting again. This is the first time I've had this issue, actually. The power light on the receiver is on as if it's working, but nothing's happening. I've just pressed the source button to see if that will do anything. I'm now going to go over to the transmitter and try and turn it off and back on. There we go. Now it's working. It's connected at a full 1080p. Alright, so now we're connected. And I'm just going to start the timer. And uh, we'll see if the connection lasts. And if the connection does cut out, we have an easy way to see the time. I see the screen is stuttering. Um, it's hard to say where that's coming from. It's not from the phone, but there is a chance that it's between my phone and the Blu-ray player. Um, however, that stuttering is something that I noticed when I was trying to stream um, TV using the Nireus. Uh, Again, that was through about a 15-foot gap and through a floor. Now we're approaching, or we've hit the three-minute mark. Um, the connection seems to be very stable. We only see a small amount of artifacting from time to time. So I'm actually pretty happy with how it's performing right now. I'm going to stop this, reposition it maybe a bit further away, but again, direct line of sight, and we'll see how well it performs there. I've now moved it so that the unit, the receiver and sender are maybe 15 feet apart. It's not a direct line of sight though, it's through an exterior wall. So I've still got the receiver right here. So I'm just going to point you back to the TV. Uh, I'm seeing the lights on the receiver keep going on and off as it's trying to get a connection. And it looks like the receiver is consuming just over 4 watts of power. 
So that means in total, while you're watching TV, the sender and receiver are consuming approximately 12 watts of power. I actually thought it would be more than that because both units get pretty warm. Okay, we see it's cutting out again. I didn't do that. And now it's reconnected. You can still see those uh, groups of pixels kind of uh, turning on and off in different parts of the screen. Actually, the receiver power is now at 6.4 watts. So it's actually closer to uh, closer to 14 watts of total power usage. And I see it's cutting out again. And it's trying to reconnect, and there it goes again. Now it's back out. Trying to reconnect again. And it's connected. So this is, this is performing about the same as it was um, when I had the transmitter mounted just above this room. I thought I'd try one more time. This time the transmitter is exactly 21 feet uh, from the receiver, which is set up down there. I'm just going to uh, set up the camera and then I'm going to restart the whole system. So I'm now playing a theatrical trailer uh, from a Blu-ray. So I mean obviously the picture is intended to be a little bit funny, but we can see that there's a lot of delays and a lot of cutting in and out as a result of using this HDMI transmitter receiver. Um, it's totally cut out now, although it sounds like the sound is still working. The uh, receiver doesn't seem to be even attempting to reconnect right now. Um, and again, right now the transmitter is set up 21 feet, uh, direct line of sight to the receiver. So I mean the sound is working fine, but there's no uh, no picture. So I'm just gonna come over here and try and turn off the receiver and just restart the system to see if it works any better. So while we're doing this, the Blu-ray is still playing. The Blu-ray player has no idea that we're uh, messing around with this. Um, the unit's not turning off right now. Alright, so I the unit wasn't turning off, so I pressed the source button. Um, I think it was trying to scan the other HDMI port, uh, but there's nothing plugged into it. So now it's reset to this one. So it looks like uh, we're connected, but I see it sweeping through the channels. Just going to wrap up with a summary. Um, just uh, go over the results that I got. Originally I bought this again at the transmit 15 feet through a floor. It did not work at all. It was always cutting in and out. Um, then I did, uh, I did actually use the um, infrared blaster, which is this right here. Uh, it plugs into the sender unit. It actually works beautifully. I didn't, um, I didn't show it in my, uh, my video test, but it does work really well. So then I did some testing. 
uh, I first I went back and I measured everything. So the first test was at seven feet with a direct line of sight. Um, the unit sometimes worked well, um, but sometimes it was unstable. Um, it, it probably would be usable. Um, then I did uh, uh, 13 feet between the sender and the receiver, but it was around uh, around a corner of a wall. Um, that connection was very unstable. Um, I then moved the unit so that they were 21 feet apart with a direct line of sight. And although it did work sometimes, generally it was very unstable and unusable. And I found the video was cutting out, even though the sound sometimes would stay, um, but really it, it wasn't usable. So, I mean, overall this unit, I, for me, is, is totally useless. Um, for some people, it might make sense if they have to broadcast wirelessly over a very, very small distance. Uh, maybe from the front of the media room to a projector mounted, you know, just 10 or 15 feet away, maybe. But I, I think that's a little bit, it's, it seems to be far. Um, there is a chance I got a defective unit. I, I don't know. I also measured power consumption because I noticed each end seemed to be a little bit on the warm side. It really doesn't use that much power. Um, one idle, the transmitter uses 1.95 watts, and the receiver uses 3.92 watts. So that means it's 5.87 watts um, when you've got the whole system shut down. When it's operating, the transmitter used 8.03 watts, and the receiver used 6.35 watts. And so in total, it's 14.38 it's watts being used while you're using the system. So it's not not too bad on power usage, even though if you feel it, you, you would expect that it, it was more power. I didn't try um, using the HDMI switching between channels one and two. Um, this is the model that has two different HDMI inputs. Um, I did not did not try that. Really, the, the unit's no good for me, so there's no point. Um, yeah, I hope uh, I hope this review has been useful for you. And that's it.